Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a Windows 9 skin pack for Windows 8 and for Windows 7. It's pretty simple to install. It's pretty much installed. I'll do everything for you. And obviously, guys, Windows 9 is not out yet, so this is a take on how it could possibly look, and this is not the official Windows 9 whatsoever. So I'll be doing this video on a Windows 7 virtual machine, but again, you can do this on a Windows 8 machine or a Windows 7 machine. Now I'll have a link in the description below to either Windows 8 or Windows 7, so whatever one you're running, download that one, and uh, we'll get started. Now the one you're downloading is going to be a always up-to-date version. Basically means that it will download the latest version from that installer. Me right now, I don't have that one because this virtual machine won't connect to the internet for some reason, so I have to refix it. But basically yours is a step um, more than mine. So what you'll have to do is open up yours, and you will have to basically say no to all the ads, and then you'll get to mine. So go ahead, open yours up, and decline the first couple of three ads, whatever it may be. It will download the file, and you'll get to this point right here. Once you're here, you know you're done all the ads, and you can start it. So now I'll guide you guys through the setup. So what you want to do is click next, accept all the terms, leave everything um, checked off, and simply install. What it will do is create a restore point, which will basically mean if something was to go wrong, maybe your computer shuts off in the middle of the installation, and then it's acting weird afterwards. What you can actually do is go back in time to that previous restore point, before this, any of this was installed and that will basically revert any change that this skin pack makes and then you're back to your previous um, restore point. Once it is done, just press next and what you want to do is reboot right away. Because this is a virtual machine, I was able to show you guys the full boot. So you will notice that my Windows 7 machine has a custom um, slide in. That is because of the skin pack. It makes the words slide in. Alright, so we're on the desktop now. And now I'll give you guys a little walkthrough of what we got here with... Windows 9 skin pack. So this is the um, wallpaper that we get. It's kind of like the Windows 7 one actually, but it looks a little more uh, Metro-like, I guess you could say. Now one thing you will notice on the right hand side of your screen is you're going to have this weird tiling program. Now this is a little program and what you can do is you can uh, press the options here and you can go to settings and you can see it's called Metro Sidebar. You have some options. You have English, you can dock it, um, and I'll keep it there. You can undock it, and you can actually just hit auto hide, and then it will hide away from you. And it updates, it will install updates automatically by default. Now, I'm not going to go through too much of this. It's going to be much of you playing around with it, but these things do work. So if you click on the computer, you can see that it instantly opens up the Explorer. It's a control panel, same thing. And if you click the little arrow here, that does something I'm not really exactly sure yet. Oh, there you go. So if you click on the little icons at the bottom here, you can actually scroll through them. Like I said, you'll want to play through with this and it definitely um, change it to you like. Now you can hit Add Tiles and there's a bunch of different tiles that you can actually download and use. So you can go you know, User Account Info, Bing Search, a Clock, a Launcher. And then you can go online, which is coming soon. But local, these are some built-in ones that you can apply. And rearrange. So boom, you click it, and it goes there. You also have the option to choose where it goes. And you can see how it works. Now, when you have the tiles, add new tiles open, when you go over a tile, it gives you the option to move it or its options. When you exit out of this, it becomes final, and then these things actually work. Just a little key mind there. 
All right, so now the next thing I want to see is the start button. You can see the start button's been changed now. It's white when you go over it, highlights in a purple. And if you click it, you get this really slick start menu. Has a nice little slide over sec um, part right there. And then we have our typical um, start menu. And if we click on something, here's our explorer. So we have up here, you can see the arrows are kind of like that metro style, um, big fonts, and a simple white and blue color scheme with a green highlighting to it. As far as icons go, it sticks with the theme, very minimalistic in my opinion. Um, you can see here we have everything highlights in green. You can see our folder icons haven't changed too, too much. Um, here, I'll bring them up to size. They have kind of um, dimmed in color. So you can, I'll go through some of the uh, files here. So you can see, as they, everything has changed to be a little more minimalistic. So that's pretty much it guys. If you like the theme, definitely like the video and go ahead and go in the description below and download it for either Windows 8 or Windows 7. Now if you are curious on how to um, revert this or bring it back to what you were before, I'll go through and show you guys that now. So what you want to do is eat on Windows 8 or Windows 7. Just head over to the control panel and go to uninstall program. Once you're at uninstall program, what you want to do is go to skin pack 9 Windows 7 or skin pack 9 Windows 8, whatever it is. Click it, go to uninstall or change, click yes and simply just check off everything there. Click on install. It will go ahead and uninstall everything and then you're pretty much it. All you gotta do once is once it's done, restart the system and you're all good to go. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching the video. Again, if you liked the video and if you liked the uh, skin pack, definitely leave a like in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0 7 and I'm signing off.